Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I'm Kay and today we're going to be doing a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter ceramic tile um, and I'm just going to be creating some blooms which I'm then going to do a spiral wreck. I just love the effect of um, this particular technique and uh, so I thought I did one the other day and I thought I didn't video it so I thought I'll just do one it again. Um, I'm going to use the Boom Gel Stains, which are a pre-mixed paint, ready to go. So you don't have to mix them with Flow Troll or any other pouring medium. They're ready to go. Now, the other day I was using them and um, this particular colour, the Pearlescent Cherry, um, it, it was actually a lot thinner than the others. So all I did was I poured it into a little bowl and I left it for about five days, just stirring it couple of times a day to allow some of the moisture to evaporate out of it and that thickened it up so I wasn't sure if that would work but it did so if you've ever got paint that's um, too runny if you leave it out in the open in a, in a bowl or small bowl um, and then just stir it a couple of times a day until you see it thickening up as long as it's not going crusty on the top I don't think you should do it probably if you're, it's in hot weather because you will get a skin on the top but um, in the cooler weather that we've got here at the moment I didn't have any problem at all so I was glad that worked out. So my tile I prepared it by um, just cleaning it off with the isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. I've then laid down already the um, Araldo Di Paolo acrylic pouring paint metallic pearl which I've mixed with flow troll and I will put all the paints I've used today down in the description box. Okay so we're going to go right ahead now and I'll create these blooms. Uh, I'll just tell you the colours as I go. So this one's a pearlescent pink. So I'm just going to create three blooms on here. This one is the pearlescent cherry. followed by the metallic copper. So these are all um, metallic colors that I've chosen in the Boom Gel Stain range today. And this is the pearlescent teal, one of my favorite colors. I do love a nice pearlescent teal. giving a decent amount, followed by pearlescent violet. Let's do a bloom up here. And then the pearlescent baby blue. And I'm just going to top them all off with the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold, which is my favourite gold. I'm not actually going to put a cell activator on at all. Don't really want to create cells today, which is unusual for a bloom, of course. Just enough of the gold. I wouldn't have plenty of the gold on there. Okay, now I'll just use my heat tool to burst any bubbles. And I'm just going to blow these out by mouth today. So you have to excuse the back of my head. Okay, now I've got them there. They're three, um, like, bigger, a little bit smaller and smaller again. So just to give a bit of um, variance there. So here I go. Okay. 
Okay, so at the moment, they're just looking like a bit of a mess there. Um, but they won't be when I've finished. So I'm just going to draw a bit of definition and to um, give us the shape of the petals. Always, of course, as I say, to make sure you write your bamboo skewer, or in this case, it's a chopstick. Just wipe the end of it so you don't end up blending the paints too much. Just get a bit of shape going in there. I quite like um, when you just have the colours separate. Oops. Rather than all loaded on top of each other. This violet and baby blue is just lovely together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, now that I've done that, is I'm going to completely wreck um, the flowers. They've got a lot of gold on there. Just by doing a small spiral from the start and going larger and larger and larger. there's one and what it's done is it just drags that gold through and makes these lovely uh, patterns through the the paint And the last one, this one's going to run into the other one, which is fine. Okay, so I'll just give a little few little lines here to finish it off. fix that little bit up there just pop a bit of fresh paint on on the side here and at the beginning I just made sure that I'd covered all my edges so that then when the paint has run over here it's given a nice um, edge for that to go over and all the other edges are covered okay so that's my little um, bloom spiral rack uh, which actually at the moment doesn't look like anything very much, but when it actually dries, it dries absolutely beautifully. So I'll bring you down for a close-up. So here we are with our close-up of our spiral blooms. You can see the pattern that that's created and drag that gold all the way through. These are going to be really shimmery when they're dry with the boom gel because I've used the pearlescent paints and the gold. So you can see here the beautiful patterns that that's created there. 
So while that's a really simple technique, um, it does create a beautiful result, as you can see, just there, lovely. And coming back up for the full size, there it is. So hopefully you enjoyed that, guys, and um, thanks so much for being along with me in Studio 33 today. If you would like to subscribe, if you haven't already, that would be absolutely fantastic. It's free and um, it helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys. Bye.